Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I'm going to be showing um, day 14 of 100 days of Less Hustle, More Jesus, a devotional journal. And I already done did the page yesterday. And so I'm just going to go ahead and read the devotional, um, share the thoughts, and then explain something that I did right here. What I did on the journaling page. So it says, um, all your heart. He didn't say we'd find him with all our head knowledge or with all our best tries or with all our beautifully written books on spirituality. He said, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. This requires some risk, some surrender, and some willingness to be vulnerable in ways we never have before. It means admitting that we don't have all the answers. And even if we did, that's not how we'll ever come to know him intimately. To seek with your heart is a full-on experience, not an exercise in theology. Of course, it is vital to learn all we can about him. But our understanding of Christ will only be illuminated to the degree that we learn to savor his presence and walk in his love. Jeremiah 29, 13, New Living Translation reads, If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. Ephesians 5, 2, English Standard Version reads, And walk in love. As Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. James 1.22, Holman Christian Standard Bible reads, But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. You know what just came to me was that scripture says, when, it, when I think about, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. The other scripture that came to me is, um, these people honor me with their mouth, but their hearts are far from me. Um, I could see the connection with this scripture and all your heart. Because it says be doers of the word. So if we seeking God with all our heart, part of that is obedience, right? God puts a premium on obedience. It's, that's why Jesus said, these people honor me with their mouth, but their hearts are far from me. We can't, the both go hand in hand. You know, we, that's a part of all our hearts, right? It says, um, if you love me, the Jesus says, if you love me, um, keep my commandments. It says, love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength, right? So that all includes obedience. So, um, that just came to me in terms of rel and, and um, relation to all your heart. So I wrote some notes here. Um, risk, surrender, vulnerability, walking. Um, I don't know at all. That's, that's when she says, I wrote those based on what she says here. This requires some risk, some surrender, and some willingness. To be vulnerable in ways we never have been before. It means admitting that we don't have all the answers. And then right here I wrote, with my whole heart I must seek the Lord. And you know, I found myself when I was doing this devotional asking the Lord to really teach me more about seeking him with my whole heart. You know, I've heard sermons, I've read scriptures, I've done cross references, I know some of it. But, you know, I can't sit here and say like, I can't, there's nothing more that I need to learn about that. Um, I know we, part of part of it is obeying God. Part of it is praying. But there's a part of me that, you know, want deeper understanding of that. And I don't, um, I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone, but, um, it's just something, you know, on my heart and in my heart and, you know, something I think about and I've prayed about it. And, um, I believe the Lord is teaching me some things, so um, which I don't want to go into now. So right here, your presence, Lord, is heaven to me. 
um, based on something she said here about, um, she wrote, um, of course it is vital to learn all we can about him, but our understanding of Christ will only be illuminated to the degree that we learn to savor his presence and walk in his love. And then I put here, walk in God's love. And uh, that's why I wrote, your presence, Lord, is heaven to me. When she talks about savoring his presence. Um, and then right here, live God's word, total surrender and obedience. God wants all of me, my whole heart. And then right here, I wrote, this was so profound to me when the Lord spoke this to me. He pointed out to me where it says, if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. And there's another verse that says, when we seek the Lord with our whole heart, he said, I will be found of you. And right here, the Lord spoke to my heart. He said, God, I want to be found by you. I was like, wow. He was like, don't just focus on the seeking part, but it's, there's a depth of intimacy there that sometimes gets overlooked. God wants to be found by us. He wants us to know him more intimately than we can ever dream or imagine. So I wrote, God wants to be found by me. You know, sometimes some people don't want to be found. They don't want to be bothered. But God wants to be found. <laughs> I just think that is so amazing. So going over here, the scripture said, He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. Psalm 25, 9, New International Version. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. So you could see the connection with the whole heart, all of our heart, and um, God's guidance and God teaching us. With our hope, seeking God is so connected to following him, obedience. And that's the word that just keeps coming to mind and heart and also that he wants to be found he wants us to learn of him he wants us to know him more intimately he wants us to learn his ways and to learn his thoughts and to take those things on as ours and to live it out and um the prayer is i turn to you with all my heart lord jesus I want to discover you in new ways every day. In Jesus' name, I ask. And pray. Amen. What is that? That's a computer, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, so um, I put a tag up here and wrote Jesus Seeker. I use some um, Happy Planner journaling stickers for this. The Happy Planner journaling stickers. Yeah, this one. The journal journaling stickers. This, I used, this card is from this. I was gifted this from um, from someone. Um, and it has some missing cards in it, though. But I really appreciate it. It's from Project Life. So, it has, like, some calendar cards and stuff there. So, um, I took one of them out and put it here. Oh, but before I did that, I stenciled um, the background. I used a heart stencil with some archival inks and some, yeah, some archival inks. No, this was distress ink, distress inks that I used to do the background with the hearts. Yeah, and a heart stencil. Let me see if I can find that heart stencil. I got that. I believe I got this heart stencil a while ago from Dollar Tree. This is it right here. And then I put this card here, and every day I put seek Jesus, seek Jesus, seek Jesus, seek Jesus. You know, saying like every day. So every day, continually. 
And then right here, I put another journaling sticker, which is a heart. And it says, Psalm, I wrote Psalm 105, 4. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore, continually. And then I put a journaling card here, which is from the Happy Planner, which is these journaling cards. What are those journaling cards? I like these journaling cards. They're plain, but I like them a lot. Let me show it to you. One second. Okay, God, where's that journaling card? All right, it's right here, right there in front of my face. Right here. So it's these. You see? So, yeah. That's the one I use the other day. From this packet right here. So it's blank. Um, it may have one statement on there. That one right there said um getting it. Well, I decorated the front of this using um some stickers from the AC Moore packet, this sticker booklet. It doesn't have a name. It just says stick a booklet. Um, you know. And so I decorated using some items from there. Love this. Then I did some layering with the heart on the sticker and put don't forget. And then inside some more stickers from that pack. And I wrote a note to self. Remember God wants to be found by you daily. He wants to give you answers. He wants you to know him more intimately. Seek him diligently to know him. And yes, he is blessing you. And then I made a tag with the wash. I put some washi tape here. And I made a tag right here with the washi tape on top of it. And it says, seek your God continually. And that's what I did for day 14. I think I'm going to go ahead and add day 15 here. And I'll just put that because... um. Yeah, because it's, it's late, and I don't want to... No, you know what? I'm going to do another video. I'm just going to do another video. All right, yeah, so that said, seek the Lord with our whole heart. Lord, help us, and I know he is helping us. You know, he that began a good work in us will perform it to the day of Christ Jesus. So I'm encouraged. I am encouraged, and I pray that you are as well. Okay, so with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you, and remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.